team of Air Force Global Strike Command airmen launched an unarmed Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile. The U.S. Air Force just unveiled missile technology that completely changed the game. I'm talking about weapons that can hit targets over 200 miles away, travel at 15 times the speed of sound, and make our enemy's defense systems look like toys from the 1980s. Today, I'm breaking down the 10 most advanced missile technologies that just launched. And trust me, some of these capabilities will make you question everything you thought you knew about modern warfare. One, America's new AIM-260. The AM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile packs more punch than anything we've seen before. Lockheed Martin designed this beast specifically to counter China's PL-15, and the specs are incredible. We're looking at a missile that can travel 150 to 200 miles. That's double the reach of the current AM-120 AM RAM. Here's what makes this missile special. It uses a dual-pulse solid rocket motor with highly loaded propellant grains. Think of it like having two engines. One gets you going fast, and the second kicks in later to maintain that speed throughout the entire flight. This means the missile stays deadly accurate even at maximum range. The guidance system is where things get interesting. It combines inertial mid-course guidance with a two-way data link and a dual-mode terminal seeker. Translation? This missile can locate its target using radar and possibly infrared imaging, and it can resist electronic jamming. Even if the enemy tries to confuse it with countermeasures, the AIM-260 adapts and stays locked on. What I find fascinating is how it fits perfectly into our current fighter jets, the F-22, F-35, F-A-18, and F-15 EX can all carry it internally. No external mounting is needed, which means our stealth fighters stay invisible while carrying this incredible firepower. 2. Dark Eagle Hypersonic Now let's talk about speed that defies physics. The US Army's Dark Eagle Hypersonic Missile travels at Mach 5. That's over 3,800 miles per hour. To put this in perspective, if you fired this from New York, it would hit a target in Miami in about 20 minutes. The Dark Eagle uses a two-stage system that's quite clever. First, a solid-fueled rocket booster accelerates the missile to hypersonic speeds at high altitudes. Then, it releases the common hypersonic glide body, an unpowered vehicle that glides toward its target while maneuvering unpredictably. This unpredictable flight path is the key. Traditional missiles follow ballistic trajectories that defense systems can calculate and intercept. The Dark Eagle's glide body can change direction, making it nearly impossible for current defense systems to track and destroy. It's like trying to hit a skipping stone with a rifle. Each Dark Eagle battery carries eight missiles total, four mobile launchers with two missiles each. The operational range hits 1725 miles, meaning you can strike deep into enemy territory from a safe distance. After some early test failures, 2024 saw two successful end-to-end -end flights, proving this technology works. The first operational battery should be ready by the end of 2025, fundamentally changing how we think about long-range precision strikes. But speed isn't everything in modern warfare. Sometimes, you need to send a message that can't be ignored, and that's where America's nuclear deterrent comes into play. Third Minute Man the Third. Team of Air Force Global Strike Command Airmen launched an unarmed Minuteman III intercontinental ballistic missile. On May 21, 2025, at exactly 12.01 a.m. Pacific time, the U.S. Air Force reminded the world why you don't mess with America's nuclear arsenal. They launched an unarmed Minuteman III 
ICBM from Vandenberg Space Force Base, sending it 4,200 miles across the Pacific at over 15,000 miles per hour. This wasn't a response to any threat. It was routine maintenance of the most powerful deterrent on Earth. The missile they selected came randomly from Malmstrom Air Force Base in Montana, equipped with a single Mark 21 High Fidelity Re-Entry Vehicle. Think about those numbers for a second. 15,000 miles per hour means this missile could travel from New York to London in 23 minutes. The target, Kwajalein Atoll in the Marshall Islands, where sensors collected radar, optical, and telemetry data to validate every system. This particular test was number 300-something in a series that's been running for over 50 years. The Minuteman 3 forms the land-based leg of America's nuclear triad, alongside submarine-launched ballistic missiles and strategic bombers. What makes these tests crucial is the collaborative effort. Personnel from all three missile wings supported this launch. The 90th at F.E. Warren Air Force Base, the 91st at Minot Air Force Base, and the 341st at Malmstrom. The message is clear. America's nuclear deterrent remains ready, reliable, and lethal. While hypersonic weapons grab headlines, ICBMs like the Minuteman 3 represent the ultimate insurance policy against any nation that might consider strategic aggression. From ground-based deterrence, let's shift to air-launched precision. Fourth AGM 183A ARRW. The AGM 183A air-launched rapid response weapon takes hypersonic technology and makes it deployable from bombers, creating a weapon that combines the best of both worlds aircraft flexibility, and hypersonic speed. This beast measures 22 feet long and weighs 6,600 pounds, designed specifically for the B-52H Strato Fortress and B-1B Lancer. But here's where it gets interesting. The ARRW doesn't just fly fast, it flies smartly. The weapon uses a boost glide system, where a solid rocket motor accelerates it to hypersonic speeds then releases a glider vehicle that maneuvers unpowered toward its target. We're talking about speeds exceeding Mach 7, with some estimates suggesting it could reach Mach 20, that's over 15,000 miles per hour. At those velocities, the weapon relies on kinetic energy rather than explosives. When something hits Mach 20, it doesn't need a warhead. The impact energy alone is devastating. The operational range extends to 1,000 miles, giving U.S. bombers incredible standoff capability. A B-52 could launch an ARRW from international airspace and strike targets deep inland without ever entering hostile territory. The program faced setbacks and was temporarily cancelled in 2023, but additional testing has continued under classified programs. What makes the ARRW particularly dangerous is its unpredictability. Unlike ballistic missiles that follow predictable arcs, this weapon can change course multiple times during flight, making interception nearly impossible with current defense systems. While the military develops devastating weapons, private companies are revolutionizing how we test them. Strato launch just achieved something the US hasn't done since the 1960s, successfully recovered and reused a hypersonic vehicle after flight testing. This changes everything about how we develop and validate hypersonic technology. 5. Strato Launch Talon A. The Talon A 2 vehicle completed two groundbreaking flights. December 2024 and March 2025, both exceeding Mach 5 and ending with runway landings at Vandenberg Space Force Base. Think about what this means. Instead of building expensive test vehicles that get destroyed after one use, we now have a platform that can fly multiple missions, collecting data and carrying payloads repeatedly. Talon A launches from Rock, 
the world's largest aircraft by wingspan, creating a mobile test platform that doesn't require fixed launch facilities. The vehicle is fully autonomous and rocket-powered, designed specifically to support the Pentagon's multi-service, advanced capability, hypersonic testbed program. Both recent flights carried Department of Defense experiments and exceeded performance benchmarks. The cost savings are enormous. Traditional hypersonic testing requires building new vehicles for each test, costing millions per flight. Strato Launch's reusable approach provides orders of magnitude savings while increasing test frequency. The same vehicle that set a speed record in December broke that record again in March. This technology positions America at the forefront of reusable hypersonic flight, giving us a critical advantage in developing and refining these weapons faster than our adversaries. When you can test the same vehicle multiple times, you iterate and improve much more rapidly than competitors using expendable systems. Speaking of competitors, let's examine how other nations are responding to America's hypersonic dominance, and it's not what you'd expect. 6. North Korea's Hypersonic Leap This warhead, which will deploy and is supposed to glide and then hit its target, and can maneuver along the way. North Korea just shattered expectations with their January 6, 2025 hypersonic missile test. The Hwasong 16B traveled 1,500 kilometers at Mach 12, 12 times the speed of sound. That's faster than most of America's current hypersonic weapons, coming from a country many dismissed as technologically backward. Here's what caught everyone off guard. North Korea used advanced carbon fiber composite materials, making their missile lighter and more heat resistant than previous designs. The solid fuel propulsion system allows for rapid deployment from mobile launches, eliminating the lengthy fueling process that makes liquid fuel missiles vulnerable to preemptive strikes. The flight profile was particularly concerning. The missile reached nearly 100 kilometers altitude before descending and maneuvering toward its target, demonstrating both range and agility. This hypersonic glide vehicle can perform complex maneuvers that make traditional missile defense systems nearly useless. Strategically, this changes the entire Pacific theater. U.S. military bases in Japan and South Korea are now within range of a weapon that provides minimal warning time. The ability to deliver nuclear or conventional warheads at Mach 12 means decision makers have minutes, not hours, to respond to incoming threats. North Korea's rapid advancement threatens to undermine regional missile defense architectures and accelerate the arms race in Northeast Asia. While missiles dominate long-range warfare, the future belongs to swarms. The U.S. military's collaborative combat aircraft program is developing technology that allows a single F-35 to deploy dozens of networked micro-drones in seconds. Imagine releasing a cloud of intelligent weapons that coordinate autonomously to overwhelm enemy defenses. Seventh, Micro-Drone Swarms These micro-drone swarms launch from specialized dispensers mounted on fighter jets, each drone equipped with AI-driven coordination systems. Once airborne, they share data in real time and adapt to battlefield conditions without human input. The swarm can autonomously navigate, identify targets, and execute complex missions from reconnaissance to precision strikes. The tactical advantages are revolutionary. Enemy air defense systems are designed to track and engage individual large targets, not hundreds of small maneuverable threats. The sheer numbers saturate radar systems and make interception nearly impossible. Even if defenders destroy half the swarm, the remaining drones continue their mission. Cost effectiveness is equally important. Losing individual drones is acceptable when the swarm maintains mission capability. This approach reduces risk to human pilots while providing persistent surveillance and strike capability over contested areas. 
Advanced data links like Link 16 allow the swarm to integrate with larger networked forces, sharing information seamlessly with other aircraft, ground stations, and satellites. The technology essentially multiplies the effectiveness of each manned aircraft.